side of an otherwise great early game. Here we go. Oh boy, Voicelite comes in, and Perian has to. Uh, Zonia is very, very late. Trying to come in here and get that blast. Oh! Coming, and there it is. The outplay from Perian says, I deserve to be here. There's still no. We get the replay here. Fly opens up a big effective health lead by hitting everything at the start, but actually closing the kill off the stasis. It proved impossible. It's about 500 health on Pyrian. Let's watch the burst here. Never move Q ult is the better part so smart. of 1300 damage. Nicely done by Pyrian. Yondu's going to have to face check here, and he's behind, so he dies pretty fast. Whoa, he dies fast. Oh, wild growth on A, and he's just flashing out of the fight. Means he can't actually help out. Lots of damage does come in, as Epic was the target, but he's going to be safe now. ADD just soaking so much as Max. Gets in there with the Crow Storm, but is it actually going to be enough? Really big shield, but it's just destroyed by the Crimson Rush. Perian, beautiful use of the Taunus. Effort still stays alive after all that. And look at the Siphoning Strike damages. Tal is huge in the front line. And ADD, last man standing, will not survive. It's the ace for SKT. Team one victory. Walking out for the last bits of damage here. BBQ, will they go for the engage to do? Yeah, Ingo Zignar is going to try and get this one done as Hero's Entrance comes down as well. It's a good load of damage to come in, but the Rakan grabs the first kill. Blank is going to suffer as Perian flashes forward to pick up the Demonic Ascension kill on the Ezreal. And now, without a lot of the damage, it's BBQ suffering at the hands of SKT. A huge play from the mid laner, and now it's all in shambles. He's going to get in there. No, it actually flashes in for the lockdown. Oh, they're on the feathers, they get the root, they get the kill. TP going to be completed by Furion though. Looking for a kill back. Another move. Another move going to drag Lumpsy in. He's getting junked oh. out. Featherstorm comes down, but the pop comes in. And that's going to be a double kill going over to Pyrian. Putting them back on the board. Are they going to be there a little bit later? Looks like Genji know that this is happening, but can they steal it? It's going to be up to the side of the Paddle Star. Maybe the smite, but he's held down. And here's Tal coming in. There's the big burst damage from the AP Cannon. And he gets the kill onto the Trundle, and they want more. Fly is on the run there, but the arrow is perfect. A double kill to the rise of Perian, and a huge start to the game from SKT. That's going to put down the Rift Tower in mid lane as well. That's Perian on you to try to get that particular Infernal. Oh, Free boy. Damage. Once again, Perian just going on in the realm or Perian oh. Ambition, the uh, arrow does go wide, but even through the wish, he gets it as Fly does not block for his teammate. And Ambition goes down around them. It's like Inception right now. Perian, though, might have been caught out trying to 1v1. And where did Fly go? That's just going to be the 1v1. And Perian will die too. But now Blank is going to come in here with a side of effort. Bang trying Rule to get free his in. Tal, he gets the perfect Blank here behind Ruler. And that should be enough damage. Takes the two of them out, as well as Ambition the last one to survive. The barrel's not going to be enough, and with the Baron buff, it looks like SKT secured game number one. Trying to at least draw multiple members to slow this down. Once again, it's Perian versus Fly, but this time they have the support of everyone else, but Haru and Core JJ come in, but Perian has a stopwatch, and is over it. There it is, the double head of Pulverite onto Haru and Fly, but a big voice of light there, but it's enough damage to Perian! Double kills the side of Gen G, just knocks them down like a couple of bowling pins. Baron, they may be doing it again. Oh, the slow there onto Blank was fantastic, but Sword is going to get engaged. A big upper hand, and look at this. White Spray in the background. He does get the knock up. He's down. Go, go, Faker. Faker going to get the kill rather onto Viper, and that's going to do it for that team fight. A double kill for Faker's Yasuo, and they're finding a way to engage and kill this Griffin comp. Maybe we're seeing why SKT didn't play their players earlier this week with seven days to actually scrim and come together. Their communication is cleaner. They're actually being decisive when they need to. They may not have got the smites, but they're... No flash there, but they're just gonna grab him T, who may have got himself into so much trouble here. No, he does get the stopwatch down, but the ore aren't coming in. From so on, he makes it into the mid lane. It's gonna be blocked by Epic. Oh! Dude, three man caught by Faker. Here's Nova gonna charm a lot of members up though. Faker is gonna get low, but here's Tall in the back line. Is he able to take one member out and have his pass and pop? Hey man, I'm just saying. He's gonna get the double taunts here and an easy kill on to Umti once again. Teddy now just trying to do the culling from behind the brawl. Can they even get there? You guys can see the stacking. 
Lots of Baron, that's damage from the Sedwani, but there's the hook onto the Kindred, gets the Lambs for Spite off just in time. The GP ultimate does come down, and now Faker is trying to, trying to do that damage in the front line. Smep's gonna be flashed after. Actually, the TP from behind the Faker in the back line is gonna get a triple kill out of nowhere. And that Aatrox now is popping off, and here comes Tall. Didn't have his TP, but finally makes it in. Introduction currently. Uh oh, Blossom might be baited in here. Look at the top lane, Rise coming in, the TP, but Blossom getting low, and now he's gonna be stuck. There it is, gonna be charmed on up. And now Tall with the TP, he's gonna be locked down here. Here comes Wolf though, gonna get a three-man stun, but they don't have enough damage. The Ezreal ultimate comes through, but does not kill Core JJ. And now Wolf might be in a little bit of trouble. Will they actually go in onto this QV? Diving on in, trying to get that root pissing, and he does, so they trade one for one. Haru now on the back foot here. Cleavers trying to be thrown out. They will get the slow, and there is Bank coming on in to help out with the kill assist. They do get a second kill, does SKT. Explosive going to jump in as Blank. He's going to get there. Still has the ultimate, remember, teleport. Invested by SKT of all teams. King's are moving up, but are they going to get there in time? The answer is no, but Prey, he still wants it. In goes the Rakan, but I don't know whether it's going to be enough. Oh, really good use of the ult from Play Prey, but it's not going to be enough. Two kills for Faker, SKT. They did very quickly a 4v5 as the Binding does land. A Puddle doing some work and in goes SKT. Okay, that was optimistic. Never move lands onto the Blitzcrank as the Wish is Whoa! doing a bunch of work. Faker explodes in the middle of the fight and Effort is going to save him. They do get the Tom Kench and Prey is still alive. That's a lot of kills for SKT. Faker's demon flare ripped through the team tall. Apprehend not going to go in there as Khan. He thinks he can take it. The W doing some work. Wants another auto. Faker no flash. Thinking about a return gank. They don't have Ignite this time, but they're gonna go for it anyway. Brandon just sputs his way out of there. Double taunt is nice, but there is the stun. Actually, nice knock up, and they force him in range again. Perfect knock up there with the pillar by Blank, and a really good read by Faker. The three out of turret. It should be available. And SKT are going to be able to take this one down, but can KT challenge? 4v4 at the moment, you can see waiting in the wings, Caitlyn is going to move in as, oh, there's the boot back from score, as Blank's going to take a lot of damage from a five-man knock-up, comes in from the Ornhorn and Faker turns up, Kingan does have the Gargoyle stone plate, will need to be devoured though, as there's another Realm Warp, and SKT a team fighting like the SKT of old, Effort is going to pick up the kill under the Dinosaur and it's all going wrong, the Caitlyn picks up one, but that's it! And SKT roll over KT. SKT's collapsed. They might just win the game here, Atlas. They got the Baron buff still. They're pushing through. I think KT might be done.